I think this is an inflection point call. I mean, if you look, this is the messy of AI, in my opinion. And you, what you're seeing with AIP and, and their you know, AI platform, I think it's a tidal wave of demand that they're starting to see around the corner. And that's really our, our call here, that it's probably the best pure play AI name in terms of them monetizing, not just on the government side, but on the enterprise side when it comes to AI. And I think we saw this. It's an inflection point quarter. We're, this remains, in our opinion, one of the core AI names over the coming years. Valuation, growth, and potential. We see Palantir as a data analytics company that's been making waves in the stock market lately. Over the past year, its stock has soared by a staggering 166%, reaching a high of $27.50. Yet, amidst its remarkable rise, a heated debate is brewing about whether its valuation matches its growth potential. Are investors right to question Palantir's trajectory, or is there more to this story than meets the eye? Yeah, but, but to Will's point, I can say maybe on the retail side, they've been ahead in terms of understanding this story. But in terms of institutional, I think it's very, very skeptical. So, so I do think they have a lot to prove. But in my opinion, this is going to be an accelerating growth story as we go into the coming years. Because what, what I see on AI, this is just, we're not even, if we're thinking about a nine inning game, we're not even in the dugout. And, and then there's a pure play what I as a platform play in terms of what Carp and the team would feel, I think it's the best one out there. According to a finance researcher, Palantir's valuation is currently a hot topic in the stock market. After a surge following its earnings report in February, Palantir's stock has remained relatively stagnant, hovering around $25 per share. The concern about its valuation and future growth prospects is palpable, especially following a recent analyst downgrade by Brian White from Mondes, Crespi, Hart, and Company. White's downgrade focused on Palantir's high price-to-sales ratio, which he deemed excessively rich compared to industry averages. He suggested a price target of $20 per share, citing concerns about the economy's direction. While White's perspective may have spooked some investors, others believe Palantir's growth potential outweighs these concerns. They argue that despite its current valuation, Palantir still has room for a resurgence in growth in the coming quarters. In addition, he also addresses the bear case surrounding Palantir stock, offering a rebuttal to concerns about the economy's future outlook. Despite challenges like high inflation, he asserts that the U.S. economy remains resilient, which bodes well for Palantir's growth prospects. Moreover, the widespread adoption of AI technology presents a secular growth trend, indicating continued growth for the sector regardless of economic conditions. Specifically focusing on Palantir, the analyst highlights the company favorable industry demand trends and the rapid rollout of its artificial intelligence platform. He notes that commercial revenue growth has accelerated, with the potential for further reacceleration in the future. This suggests that Palantir's top-line growth could surpass expectations, even exceeding the reported 20% revenue growth from the last quarter. While immediate outsized earnings growth may not materialize, the analyst believes that as Palantir scales and reduces growth-related investments, its bottom line could skyrocket. This optimistic outlook leads him to anticipate loftier price levels for Palantir stock in the future. Furthermore, he emphasizes the importance of patience for investors, cautioning against expecting an immediate rally for Palantir shares. However, he suggests suggests that investor sentiment could quickly shift following Palantir's next earnings report on May 8th, potentially leading to another strong post-earnings rally. Even if this does not occur, he believes that subsequent news and developments could bolster confidence in Palantir's growth story later in the year. You think about that multiplier into software, into chips, I believe the AI party has already begun. Are you going to ignore any kind of inventory corrections, even if they're short and shallow on a quarterly basis? You're just gonna ride this for the next five years? Now, did you know that a seasoned analyst has also weighed in on Palantir's recent performance? The street pro's Bruce Kamek wasn't surprised by Palantir's rally, expressing bullish sentiments even before CEO Alex Karp's impressive earnings report. Kamek initially set a price target of $22, but Palantir surpassed this target. Subsequently, the company announced a collaboration with Oracle on AI solutions, further boosting its prospects. Additionally, Palantir's sales have been driven by tailwinds in AI technology. 
The successful launch of OpenAI's ChatGPT in December 2022 garnered significant interest from enterprises and governments seeking AI solutions. This surge in AI activity across various industries, from finance to healthcare to manufacturing, has propelled Palantir's revenue growth. Financial institutions like JP Morgan and healthcare companies are increasingly relying on AI for risk assessment, drug target prediction, and clinical trial success evaluation. Similarly, manufacturers are exploring AI's potential to enhance production and quality, while retail stores are leveraging AI for sales trend analysis and inventory management. Even the U.S. government is considering AI applications in battlefield scenarios. Moreover, he notes that AI's potential seems boundless, with many turning to Palantir's expertise in data management and protection to develop and operate new AI applications. While Palantir historically focused on assisting the U.S. government with counterterrorism efforts, it has expanded its services to include data management for large corporations. CEO Alex Karp highlighted the unprecedented demand for Palantir's artificial intelligence platform, with discussions underway with over 300 enterprises for deploying AIP within their organizations. This increased adoption of its platform has fueled Palantir's consistent year-over-year -year sales growth, surpassing 20% for three consecutive quarters, with double-digit earnings per share growth. In the fourth quarter, Palantir reported revenue of $736 million and earnings per share of $0.09, cents, marking a 21% and 16% increase, respectively, from the previous year. Analysts predict further growth, with consensus estimates for earnings in 2024 and 2025 at $0.33 and $0.39 per share representing 34% and 17% increases. The recent collaboration with Oracle to sell cloud and AI services is expected to expand Palantir's user base, driving additional sales and earnings growth. Oracle's global reach as a top cloud provider, combined with its expertise in data management, enhances the potential for Palantir's AIP to reach more users and further bolster its financial performance. Bruce Kamek has successfully navigated stocks and markets for over five decades using price, volume, and technical indicators. His analysis of Palantir's price chart supported his earlier forecast in February that the company's shares could see an upward trajectory. But before we move on, we just want to thank you for watching this far in the video. Now, is Palantir a buy after soaring 170%? Despite initial skepticism, Palantir has defied expectations by establishing a profitable niche in serving government agencies and defense contractors. Its stock has seen impressive growth, up 33% year-to-date and a staggering 170% over the past year. The company's popularity among financial professionals is undeniable, with its ticker searched more frequently than even industry giant Microsoft. However, Wall Street analysts remain cautious, assigning a hold rating to the stock. This leaves investors questioning whether it's too late to jump on the Palantir bandwagon or if there's still room for further growth. Palantir's business revolves around revolutionizing big data analytics, assisting organizations in making sense of complex data sets. Established in 2003 by a group including Peter Thiel, the company has grown substantially, focusing on serving government agencies and large enterprises. It offers two main products, Palantir Gotham for intelligence operations and Palantir Foundry for business data analysis. Segmenting its business into government and commercial sectors, Palantir derives 53% of its revenue from government contracts and 47% from commercial clients across various industries. The company continues to expand its reach, recently introducing initiatives like Foundry for Builders to support startups and investing in AI and machine learning capabilities. Looking ahead, Palantir has exciting projects in the pipeline, including collaborations with the U.S. Army on Titan Systems and agreements with the U.S. State Department for Health Monitoring Software. These developments highlight Palantir's expertise in providing innovative solutions for defense, intelligence, and government operations, signaling potential for further growth in the future. In addition to growing revenues, Palantir achieved gap operating profitability for the fourth consecutive quarter, with a 1.5% increase in operating margin year over year. This led to an expansion of the free cash flow margin to 31.3%, allowing the company to build up cash reserves without any debt. Despite facing no direct competition, Palantir is relatively expensive compared to other large data companies, with a high price-to-cash flow ratio and AP to E multiple over 100 times. However, when excluding stock-based compensation, its P to E ratios align better with its price-to-cash ratio. Despite its high valuation, Palantir boasts the best revenue growth among its peers, although it has only recently started translating this growth into earnings. According to the company's earnings presentation, Palantir expects adjusted free cash flow of $800 million to $1 billion in 2024, or about 50 cents per share. So as you consider Palantir stock, it's crucial to acknowledge the uncertainty surrounding its future trajectory. 
Before making any investment decisions, thorough research is essential. Speculation abounds regarding where Palantir's stock price may hit next, particularly in light of upcoming earnings reports and market dynamics. With factors like analyst ratings, financial performance, and industry trends influencing the stock's movement, investors must stay informed and vigilant. So, what's your take on Palantir's future? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And that's it. Make sure to smash the like and subscribe buttons down below. Additionally, if you want to know more about Palantir from Jim Cramer, just click this video right here. Thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for more exciting content in the future.